Hello, everybody. I'm Richard Osmond. and welcome along to the House of Games. Not just the House of Games, something tells me, look, I've got little frills on my chair. Take a look at the trophy. It's not silver, it's gold. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. It is a Champions Week. I'm joined by four former winners. Every single person here has won a House of Games. One of them is going to be a champion of champions. Who are they? They are Vicky Stone. Hello. Sally Phillips. <laughs> Ricky Hayward Williams. And Dan Walker. Hello. Hello, everyone. We're all champions. It's so nice, nice, isn't it? Oh, you can settle back. Although you can't now, of course, because there can only be one champion of champions. So four winners, three of them are going to suddenly become losers again. Yeah. That doesn't seem right. It feels right, like a trap. It? it feels like a trap. It, do you know what, Ricky? That's because it is a trap. <laughs> you're exactly right. I like your sort of massive epaulet you're sitting in. That's very kind of you, yeah. <laughs> no, it's lovely, isn't it? It's like I've been decorated in battle. Yeah. Um, Vicky, yeah. how are you feeling facing uh, facing this? Because normally on House of Games, there's a couple of dodgy players on yeah. that we don't yeah. have to worry about. <laughs> but we've got to worry about everyone today. I'm really worried because I've, I've got a quite a simple goal: is that I'm here for a second toolbox. <laughs> Okay. You're here <laughs> like, for a second I want box. a pair of matching toolboxes. Wow. And so has, has it that, been a that's lifelong, what I want. lifelong dream. Do you know what? I was actually really surprised by the quality. It was a really high-end toolbox. It's so a good it's, toolbox. Yeah, it's Who really. Who doesn't want to? It's really specked out. So I okay, would so like a second. Good. Ricky. Hello. Now you, in your house, have a House of Games trophy. I do. As a weekly a... winner, do you not? I do. Uh, it's proudly on my mantelpiece. Uh, just kind of in my in my house, kind of just looking great. But what about a pair of matching trophies? Oh. That's in some ways even better than a pair of matching toolboxes. I mean, that trophy it looks spectacular. It look, I've, I've, I'm enjoying it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I, I could see myself taking that tro uh, trophy. Silver trophy. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Talking himself up massively. I'm getting, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Silver trophy, gold trophy. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Sally, shall we take a look at today's prizes? The yes, first time please. we're going to have a look at them. First time I'm going to look at them as well. Let's talk them through. Between us, I shall hesitate we? to be too keen because I don't want to be greedy. I is or <laughs> yeah, hugely disappointed. <laughs> or, or disappointed. Yeah. Well. Let's take a look at what is in store on Monday. <gasps> whoa! Oh, uh, oh that's whoa. lovely. We immediately have the toolbox. Straight in. Oh my the goodness! Toolbox. You have set up today's show so beautifully, Vicky. Um, we have got the House of Games toolbox, the House of Games headphones. We have got the House of Games cool bag. There's the compost bin. <gasps> <laughs> Lovely golden compost oh, is that bin what that is, right? and the House of Games tie. What do you think, Sally? Well, I mean, just the poetry of the House of Games compost bin. <laughs> <laughs> Not just the House of Games compost bin, the House of Games golden compost golden bin. Golden compost bin. Yeah, I'm very tempted by that. And compost bin, Vicky? No, toolbox. it's a toolbox. It has to be. Yeah. Ricky? I mean, if, I, if I'm lucky enough to win an episode, I've got to go for the headphones, being a DJ. Got yeah. to go for the I've headphones, I've got to. Surely. People know when I'm DJing oh, in Ibiza imagine. that I've been on House of Games and won an episode. <laughs> that would go down so well, <laughs> wouldn't it, Dan? Is, is that an airtight compost bin? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, Dan, what do you reckon? You reckon I'm giving you a non-airtight compost bin? Well, I doubt I'm that Judging very much. by the quality of the prize in the past, I think it's probably up there. It's, I think it's Whoa. substantial compost bin. It's a nice compost yeah. bin. I'm going toolbox then. Toolbox, toolbox as well, a couple of toolboxes. Uh, a couple of toolboxes, <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> listen, champions one and all, you've all played before. Shall we play again? Let's yeah. Do it. Okay, every time I press this buzzer, a new round comes up. I never know what it's going to be. You never know what it's going to be. Let's play our very first round on our Champions Week of House of Games. Rhyme time. As so often on a Monday, we play rhyme time. First things on buzzers, everyone. I'll ask you two questions at a time. The answers rhyme with each other. Good luck to our champions. Who is this? And third occupation after the butcher, the baker. Yes, that is Vicky. That is Matt Baker and Candlestick Maker. Matt Baker, Candlestick Maker. Absolutely. <laughs> Somebody wants a toolbox. <laughs> that <did>. is for <laughs> sure. <laughs> Next questions. Capital of Indonesia and Small Sausage. Dan. Sumatra and Chipolata. It's incorrect, I'm afraid. Not a million miles away. Sally. Jakarta Chipolata. Jakarta Chipolata? Oh, uh, yeah. Absolutely right. Well done. <laughs> Next one. Who is this? And 1975 fight between Joe Frazier and Muhammad Ali in the Philippines. <laughs> Sally. 
A thriller in Manila. And who's that? Oh, sorry, it's Ben Miller. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ben Miller, thriller in Manila. It's absolutely right. Very well done. Next question. Sturgeon Row eaten as a delicacy. And vehicle used to facilitate exit from a crime scene. Yes, Vicky. Caviar getaway car. Caviar getaway car. Well played, absolutely. Caviar getaway car. Next question. What is this? And what is the title of this song? Vicky. Tumble dryer, sex on fire. Tumble dryer, sex on fire. Absolutely right. Well done. Next one. Medical speciality, often abbreviated to ENT. And humorous account by Jerome K. Jerome about a trip on the Thames. Yes, Sally. Three men in a boat, ear, nose and throat. Three men in a boat, ear, nose and throat. Very well played. <laughs> Final question in this round. Played alongside his brother Colo for Manchester City. And what is the title of this song? Bells will ring, tingling, ling, tingling, ling, and you'll sing the the bell. Come on, Dan, you have to get this. Yaya Torre and Amore. Oh. Yaya Torre and Amore. Yeah, that's Amore. I'll give you that. Yaya Torre, that's Amore. Well done, Dan. You can go back to BBC Sport. Thank you. <laughs> <That's> so <laughs> relieved, isn't it? That's the end of our first round. The end of our first round in this Champions Week. And let's take a look at our scores, shall we? Ricky, yet to get off the mark. Dan, you got yourself one point. We have joint leaders, Vicky and Sally. Three points each. Nicely <laughs> done. Let's play round two, shall we? Which today is... <laughs> Distinctly Average. It's a pairs game. The player in fourth base chooses their partner. Ricky, today that is you. Who would you like to play this round with? Uh, just because uh, he broke my heart a few months ago and left football focus, I can't separate myself from Dan Walker. I'd there like we go, Dan Walker, Dan Walker and Come on, Ricky. Ricky are a team. Sally and Vicky, you're a team as well. At some point this week, I want Vicky and Ricky to be a team. <laughs> <'Cause> I, <laughs> I, love, I love a rhyming team. You know, <laughs> they get to sit next to Dicky. Ricky, Ricky. Oh, that's like Dicky, Vicky and Ricky. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> now, tablets out, please. I'll ask you some questions. You write, <laughs> write me down. Tablets <laughs> out. Uh, I'm going to ask you some questions. Uh, you're going to write down a number and I'm going to take the average of each pair's number as your answer, OK? Here's your first question, everybody. Write me down a number for this. How many cities in the world have more than one million inhabitants? OK. Hmm. Oh, that's a good question, yeah. Richard. It is a good question, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to think of an answer as well. OK, everyone's in. What do you think at home on this one? How many cities in the world have a million or more inhabitants? Vicky? I'm thinking 1,600. That's no. based on the amount of countries times the amount of big cities per country. Oh, my goodness, that's a that's And then a I added some more for and good then measure. Added, there you go, the old... <laughs> <laughs> that was my That thinking. is such a traditional, distinctly <laughs> average bit of working out. Yeah. Which is exactly this by this. Then I've added some then more. Then I've added some so more. So 1,600, yeah. I think. Sally, you're going up or down? I went down and I still think it's too high. I, given that Iceland's only got 600,000 people, what? a lot of the countries yeah, I... wouldn't have a million people. So I think I've made an error, and especially since they're averaging us, I'm wishing I'd put 80. Yeah, I <laughs> hear but you. I've, I've, I've done <laughs> nine. <laughs> I've done 900. So your average is 1,250. 1,250 is your average. Yeah. Ricky, what are you saying? Uh, I went for 200. Uh, just because uh, playing this game before, yeah. I feel like going too high is a mistake. Yes. So I thought yeah. I'd go quite low. Don't forget, going too low is also a mistake. It is a mistake, but hopefully it average out. Normally, the, your person goes really high that you're with. That's clever. Don't That's clever. Out, Dan. I wonder if Dan. Hi, hi there. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you gone high, Dan? I've gone sort of in the middle. I've gone for 317. Oh. Okay. Oh, beautifully presented as well. Thank you. Oh, wow, look at the artistry on the boys. Yeah. Thanks very much. <laughs> that is. Uh, <laughs> That's raised the stakes. It's a very a simple of brain. Isn't it? <laughs> you, you did take a long time to write know, that. So... I've been here for 20 yeah. minutes. Yeah. I, did, <laughs> I did wonder why you were the last person to lock in your answer, Dan. Now I know. <laughs> Let's take a look at your average, Ricky and Dan. 
It is 258 and a half. Let's find out, shall we, how many cities in the world have more than a million inhabitants and who scored the points? 512. Very well done, gents. Very nicely played. Nice one, Mike. 512. Yeah. There's about 10,000 cities in total worldwide. 500 of them have a million or more inhabitants. Um, next question. According to the latest global sports salary survey, what is the average weekly wage of a first-team footballer in the English Premier League? And that's in pounds. If only we had the former host of Football Focus here. <laughs> who, uh, and essentially that's why I left. I'm, <laughs> yeah, my maths are then. so bad, they, they forced <laughs> me out. So what's the average weekly wage of a first-team footballer in the Premier League? Ricky, what's your answer? Uh, I've gone for 70,000 yeah. a week on average. It's about three and, three and a half million a year. Which, yeah, I mean, yeah. they get paid a lot. Yeah, first-team player, I reckon about 70,000. Dan? I think? went for 76. Pounds. OK, very, very close. Even I can work out the average there. It's £73,000 a week, you're saying, is the average wage of a Premier League footballer, 73000 Vicky, they seem quite confident on that. Where are you? So, <laughs> I have gone for £25,000 £5, a week. There you go. <laughs> Sally, up or down from 25000 I went down... 10000 10000 £10, a, a week. And so your average, Sally and Vicky, is... 17 and a half thousand. So we've got 73,000, we've got 17 and a half thousand. What do you think at home on this one? How much are they getting paid on average in the Premier League? What's the answer and who scored the point? 61,000 pound a week they're getting. Three million pound a year. That's the average. Oh my That's word. Crazy, That's right? the average. Very well done if you got close to 60,000 there. Point to Ricky and Dan. Final question in this round. How many instruments did Prince play on his debut album, For You? Now this, suddenly, this is in your ballpark, mm. Vicky. How many instruments do you play? Depends how well, but about 20-ish. Wow. Some of them not, not great, yeah, but, you know, know, in an emergency. 20? <laughs> exactly. That's phenomenal. That's, that's amazing. Oh, yeah, I mean, they're oh, she can do it all quite Vicky. similar. What's your top instrument? Flute. <laughs> no, really? really? Yeah, I used to play I, the flute. I, I, whenever I've had a few drinks, I do whip a flute out. Really? And I, I, I like to do the instrumental from Bewitched. You know the, you, you know the um, yeah. Yeah. V. <laughs> I know it's on a on a on a violin, but I like to okay. impress house guests by playing that on well, the flute. I mean, you say impress. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a female Ron Burgundy with the old jazz flute. Oh, right? jazz flute. I love this. Yeah. Okay. Right. Must yeah. focus on the right. How many? What do you think at home, Prince? On for you. There we go. We are all locked in. Sally, what are you thinking on this one? I think there's a difference between playing when drunk and playing on an <laughs> album. <laughs> Do you think? I think so. OK. You haven't, you but I play album. three, you play 20. I reckon he recorded eight. Eight. Mm. Interesting, says Sally. Up or down, Vicky? I've gone up. I reckon he's probably done nearly everything, which yeah. is a sort of basic... Uh, guitar, keys, bass, drums. Do you know what I mean? And, and are we counting percussion? He probably knocks out some shaker, a bit of tambourine. Oh, so I've gone with 10. 13. Beautiful. So your average is 10 and a half. Ricky, but you Hello. play a lot of Prince, but uh, yeah. did yeah. Prince play a lot? The only thing I remember uh, when people spoke about Prince and like his, you know, multi instrumental kind of, you know, background was that he played over 100 instruments. <gasps> That, I, that's, that that stuck in my head, so I, I nearly wrote 100. Yeah. Uh, I changed my mind, uh, so I went for 60. 60. I, I know nothing about. Mm, Are there 60? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I don't think. I don't know. Answer, but I went for 60. Nice. Okay, Dan. Up, I'm assuming down from. Yeah, that. a little bit down, but I went all the twos, 22, and I drew a trumpet. <laughs> Very good. All the twos, 22. Wrong. You got someone's Wrong. looking for a new career. <laughs> uh, either as a bingo caller or an artist. Yeah. It's one or the other. Okay, so your average gents is 41. So did he play 10 and a half yeah. or did he play 41? Let's find out, shall we? How many instruments did Prince play and who scored the point? Ooh, 27. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wowzers! <laughs> we've not had a great well, round. No, we've not had a great round. Just about sneaked that one. 27, and well done, Dan, as well. Be the, uh, wow. the closest individually. Yeah, good work, uh, that's the end of that round. Very well done at home if you were close to 27. And let's take a look at our scoreboard. What's happening now? 
This looks like a champion show, doesn't it? <laughs> Look at that. Vicky, Sally, Ricky each have three points. Dan Walker, one point lead with four. <laughs> Remarkable. That's close, isn't it? That's exciting. That's what we like to see. Let's play another round, shall we? Round three today is going to be... Games House of. Games House of, I'm going to give you some questions. You need to give me the answers in alphabetical order, please. Oh. OK? So if I ask your name, Sally, it'll be Philip Sally. Fingers on buzzers, please, or uh, buzzers, fingers on. Here's your first question. A few hours before the great storm of 1987, which British TV weather forecaster famously assured viewers there wasn't a hurricane on the way? Yes, Sally. Fish Michael. Fish Michael? Absolutely. Michael Fish becomes Fish Michael. <laughs> Next question. Which Jane Austen novel features the characters Elizabeth Bennet and Mr Darcy? Dan. Uh, Heights Wuthering. Heights Wuthering. <laughs> Incorrect, oh, no. I'm afraid. Vicky. Oh. And Prejudice Pride. And Prejudice Pride? Oh, yeah, that's better. Well, well, <laughs> 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 what she said. <laughs> I love that. Oh, yeah, that's better. Yeah, that is, actually, that is better. That is, yeah. Well, Blade. Next question. Who is this? Yes, Ricky. Blige J. Mary. Blige J. Mary? <laughs> Nicely played, Ricky. Blige J. Mary. Next question. Which cocktail with a name referencing an area of New York State typically contains gin, rum, vodka, tequila, triple sec and cola? <laughs> yes, Dan. I've gone very early there. No, I'm going to... No. Nope. OK. Uh, OK. Here we go. Go on, Vicky. Island. Incorrect, I'm afraid. Mm, Sorry. Right. Oh. But it can't be Manhattan, can it? That's just one. Manhattan is not. <laughs> <laughs> Again, listen, nice try. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, just uh, joining Vicky in. definitely had the right cocktail. Mm. Oh. Vicky? So. Oh, I thought you said. Vicky said I. Oh, I know I went wrong. I don't know. Nope. I don't know. Oh, I know it now. You let yourself down on the alphabetizing have, this yeah. time. Do you want to have a little it's go for no points? Iced Island Long. Tea. Long uh, Island iced tea. Uh, I've got the islands and the ice Island wrong. long tea. Oh, yeah, that's the hard bit, isn't it? Final question in this round. What is the title of this song? It's always tease, tease, tease. Oh, no. You're happy when I'm on my knees. Ricky, we all wish you the very best of luck. <laughs> <laughs> I? No. Incorrect. Oh, OK. Yes, Vicky. Good Go. Luck. I. Or. Incorrect. <laughs> Sally. Go, I, I. Or. Stay. It's incorrect, I'm afraid. What? <laughs> Dan, good luck. Should, should, I, should I stay? We've, we've already had the first. Go, I'm, I'm just trying to make so it goes gone. Just reminding people at home, this is the champions. <laughs> I know it looks like a whole load of go monkeys I, trying I. to work out how to use a video camera. Go, I, I. Go, I go. That's gone. Should I stay or should? <laughs> Over on BBC One, there's paint drying. Yeah. <laughs> or, or, so go, go. Should, should stay. Here's the yeah. right oh, 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 oh. I was so quick as well, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And also, no hints from anyone else at any point. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, what an end to that round. <laughs> <laughs> Put it to you. Two rounds to go on Monday's House of Games Champion Special. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. Ooh. Look at that still. Four, 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 five. <laughs> How about that? Wow. Two rounds to go. What can come between these four champions? Let's find out, shall we? Round four is... Richard's junk. I'm going to show you a picture now of my junk. You will have 15 seconds to memorise everything you're about to see. I will tell you all the things as well, so listen carefully. So, we have got a bunch of bananas, salt and pepper shakers, a pencil, a beehive, bald eagle, stuffed bald eagle, some bangles, a toy rat, rubber duck, screwdriver and a crown. So try and remember all of those if you can. 
I'm now going to ask you some questions and the answers will all be something you've just seen. OK, here's your first question. Fingers on buzzers. Which all-female group achieved their first UK top ten single on the 23rd of February 1986? Yes, that is Vicky. Bangles. Bangles is the right answer. Well done. There's the bangles. <laughs> Next question. Sometimes used to open doors, what sonic device is used by the Doctor in Doctor Who? Yes, that is Vicky. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. Well done. <laughs> Next question. During the presidency of John F. Kennedy, the Secret Service referred to the White House by what code name? Yes, Vicky. I just got panicked. No, Duck. sorry, I had need an immediate answer. That's incorrect. Yes, that's Ricky. Eagle. Eagle. Good guess, though. Dan. The Beehive. The Beehive. It's incorrect. That's a good oh, guess oh, as well. That'd be cool, that one. Yeah. Sally. Crown. Crown? It's the right answer. Ooh. Well done. Crown. Thanks, guys. <laughs> and next question. In an episode of the sitcom Fleabag, Claire says that her new haircut makes her look like a what? Sally? Rat. Rat? It's incorrect, oh. I'm afraid. Ricky? Beehive. Beehive? It is not. Dan? Pencil. Pencil? It's the right answer, yeah. Wow. Well done. Next question. What type of creature is a golden eye? Yes, Dan. A rat. Is it a rat? It is not a rat. Uh, Ricky? Eagle. Eagle? I would have thought it was. It's not, I'm afraid. Vicky? Duck. It is a duck. Well done. <laughs> Next question. What term is commonly used for dark hair that's flecked or streaked with grey? Yes, Sally. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper? Very good. Absolutely well played. <laughs> Final question. In the traditional Chinese calendar, the year of which animal began in 2020? Yes, Sally. Rat. Rat? Well done. There is an extra bonus point up for grabs. Anyone buzz in and tell me the three missing objects? Dan. Yes. Hello, Richard. Hello. Um, beehive. An eagle. Oh, what was top left, Richard? Oh, that's what I was just thinking. First thing I read out, wasn't it? Dan, I'm going to have to time you out. A small so miniature horse. <laughs> Sally. Beehive, eagle and bananas. Oh, bananas. Oh. Beehive, eagle, bananas. bananas yeah. Point to Sally. Well played. <laughs> Nicely done. I couldn't remember the bananas. We have one round to go. One round before we find our first champion of the week. And somebody wins a golden prize. Let's take a look at our leaderboards. It's been very close all show. Wow, Oof. looky here, Ricky, you have four. Dan, you've got six. Vicky, you've got seven. Sadie Phillips, one point lead with eight. <laughs> Everybody's still in it, though, as we play our final round, which, of course, is... <laughs> after smash. Fingers on buzzers, a point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer, don't forget. Everyone is within four points of each other, so anyone can still win this. Your first category? is broadcasters. Those will be the pictures. There'll be clues above. Smash them together, please, and very best of luck, one and all. Which 520-metre-long attraction on England's south coast has funfair rides named The Booster and Crazy Mouse? Yes, Sally. Brighton Piers Morgan. Brighton Piers Morgan is the right answer. Well done, Brighton Pier and Piers Morgan. Next question. Anna Maxwell Martin plays a stressed parent in which sitcom co-written by Sharon Horgan and Holly Walsh, among others? Yes, Dan. No. Nah. Sorry. How's that working? You lose a point. <laughs> Sally. Andrew Marthaland. Andrew Marthaland. It's incorrect. No. You lose oh. points. Oh. It's always the clue first and then the picture. Vicky. Mother Landrew Marr. Mother Landrew Marr was what we were looking for. Very oh. well done. A point oh. for Vicky. Very, very close at the top of the leaderboard now. I'll tell you that. Next clue, next picture. 
which Stephen Mulhern TV game show began as a segment on Anton Deck's Saturday Night Takeaway? Oh, what's he called? Dan. In for a Penny Smith. In for a Penny Smith. <laughs> Correct, Dan. Very well done. In for Penny and Penny Smith. This leaderboard is very, very close now at the top. Your next category is... Snack food. So there'll be a clue above, there'll be a picture below. Smash them together, please. Which song about a mode of transport did Shirley Temple famously sing in the 1934 film Bright Eyes? Yes, Sally. On the good ship, lolly popcorn. Well played, on the good ship, lolly popcorn. Well played, Sally. Next question, next picture. Which lyricist co wrote songs for the 1994 film The Lion King with Elton John? Yes, Vicky. Tim Rice Cakes. Tim Rice Cakes? Absolutely right, Tim Rice Cakes. Next clue, next picture. Which collaboration between Tom Jones and Moose T was a UK top ten single in 2000? Yes, Dan. Sex Bombay Mix. Sex Bombay Mix. <laughs> Wouldn't want to eat that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the right answer. Sex Bomb and Bombay Mix. Sex Bombay Mix. Your next category is. Musical notation. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, come um, That'll be... <laughs> those will be the pictures of these above. What is the title of Megan Trainor's first solo UK number one single? <laughs> yes, Sally. All about the bass. And a tiny bit more. I could do this one. Sorry, time you out. You lose a point. <laughs> Dan. It's all about that bass clef. All about that bass clef? Oh. Is the correct answer. Well done. All about that bass clef. Next question. Ah. Mm. There were some points changing hands there at the end, weren't there? Yeah. Blimey. I literally have no idea who's won this. Uh, we've got four champions back for the whole week. We're about to find out the winner on Monday. It's been a terrific competition. The winner on Monday's Champions House of Games is... Vicky oh. Stowe by one point. Yes! By, <laughs> by one point. Very, very well done, Vicky. Nine points. You, you've won yourself a... Pr <gasps> you've doubled toolbox. <laughs> I've doubled toolbox, wow. early doors. I think you're the first person in Britain to double toolbox. I presume that's what you... That is absolutely unquestionably what I'm having. Beautiful. You've got his and hers toolboxes. Hers toolboxes. You and your new husband. So you've got a red toolbox and a gold yeah. toolbox. Who's... I'm, I'm having the gold toolbox. I would have thought, I mean, I would know, have yeah. thought so. Selfless. I would have thought so, yeah. absolutely. But are you, what are you going to keep in it? You're going to keep all your little ocarinas and... No, tools. <laughs> <laughs> Very well played, Vicky. Take home a house of games gold and toolbox. Let's take a look at the weekly leaderboards. Vicky Stone taking through four points to tomorrow. Three points for Dan and Sally, one for Ricky at the bottom there. That was a lot of fun. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Uh, should we do it again tomorrow? Yes. Yeah. I look forward to it ever so much. I'll see you here, same time, same place. We'll see you as well. Same time, same place on the House of Games. Demonstrate the action. <laughs> Let's see that would. concertina action. Oh, hey. hello. Oh. Look at that. Oh, it's very, so very nice. Good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> it smells new. Does it? <laughs>